Aloha, top of the morning, friends and family. People wanted to see uh, Smog, our motley orange glow reticulated python, so I figured I'd pull him out today, let you guys see him. Also, we're gonna talk about why do I clickbait with Brian Barczyk on the thumbnail? This is something that's been asked of me and I, I felt like it was a, a legitimate criticism. And so I was gonna just talk about that, maybe show some other stuff. If this is your first time to the channel, most of our content is beautifully edited, cinematic masterpiece quality. This one is uncut. Why do I clickbait with Brian Barczyk in the thumbnail? Well, there's, there's a number of reasons. Number one is to get views. Let's be honest, it's, it's to get views. When I, when I put things like that in the thumbnail, when I put Brian in the thumbnail, we get views. I certainly don't do it with malicious intent. I'm very good friends with Brian. In fact, uh, the, the thumbnail in question, the day bef when I made that thumbnail, we had had a phone call that, a phone call that morning because I was calling him just talking about, just giving him some positive energy. He seemed like he needed some positive energy in his life. So I, I sent it his way. We were having a phone call for a while. And then later that night is when I actually was played that video. I hadn't, and he did a good job of hiding the fact from me that he was involved in that video when we had that long phone call that morning. So when I saw him on the video, I was super surprised. And um, anyway, yeah, I, I showed him the thumbnail too. I showed him the thumbnail I was using and I said, I said something along the lines of, I'm going to clickbait hell. Sent him the photo and his reply was something along the lines of, you know I love you, man. And so it's, it's certainly, he's, he's aware of it. It's, it's not like I'm just using it and just trying to use him like that without, you know, I don't know, it's just being completely an ass, even though I admittedly, semi ass he he was well aware that i was using him in the thumbnail and i i don't do it too often but he was i was talking about him so it seemed like but it was it was clickbait i 100 percent admit it was clickbait and a lot of the reason i use it like that is because i i want to bring people in with i just want to bring people in and, and give them good energy that's that's what it is for the most part and give brian good energy and because he's gotten so much negative press from people when he's actually one of the, regardless of what you personally think about him, I, I know Brian very well, and he's one of the nicest and most hard-driven, hard-working guys, regardless of what you may hear or think. It, I know him very well, personally, and he's a super good dude. So that's another reason. I, I know it'll bring people in thinking, oh, what's this guy going to say about Brian? Like, nothing but good. Sorry. <laughs> but, and, and also, also, we get, oh, also, before I get too sidetracked, we've got some packages here to open as well. We're going to get to that. But also, I've noticed, especially in the last year, maybe year and a half, for whatever reason, and I, I don't know exactly what to chalk it up to, but I get more views on this channel, which I do care about getting views on this channel. I want to grow this channel. I want it to get big so I can spread more good energy to more people and just be successful with it. Putting the time in, I want it to be successful. The simple as that. Like, I, I want more views. I do. I'd be lying if I said I didn't. But I've noticed that I get the most views on stuff that has like a negative connotation. Like if there's something bad happening or like the thumbnail uh, points to the fact that there might be something bad going on or just negative overall. Like if there's something, the beginning of this year, we did have some bad stuff happen. And I mean, we got tons of views on those videos. Just if I look back at the stats of each video, the ones that point towards something potentially negative happening, those ones just blow up on my channel. I don't know if that works the same for everybody, but for me, it certainly does. And so I've kind of I've kind of got this idea with my channel since that's the way it seems to work is to bring in people with the negative, kill them with kindness and just spread as much joy and happiness and aloha that I can while I've got your attention. And and the people that are coming that are that are upset that they didn't get to see something super negative and just being real, you know, being extremely negative I don't care about that as much. Like if, if somebody's coming looking to feed whatever it is that gets people to click on those videos for negative reasons, like they just, people just, people are drawn to it. I've, I've known this for a long time. People are drawn to bad stuff, to death, to the, the negative side of, of the world. It's just in many human natures, like the train wreck things. Like you just, you have to look like, oh my God, that's horrible. So using that, try to bring people in and give them good stuff. And again, if, if people really wanted that bad stuff and they're like, I, I don't, this video sucks because I wanted to see something bad, but they didn't get it. 
I don't feel bad for that. That's that's your own issues. You got to work out on your own, sort yourself. That's a, you go see somebody about that because <laughs> you got, there's much more better things to life than focusing on stuff like that. And, and, and maybe for some people, it's like they have bad stuff going on in life and it helps them feel better if somebody else has something bad going on. So if, if that's the case for you, I'm sorry. I, I hope that, I really do hope that you find a way to turn that around because personally, like I, I'm sitting down here, I'm trying to give you guys some good energy. And I'm trying because it's, it's, today has been a little bit, I've got a snake I've got to go take over the grade and drop off today because it's the right day to ship. Shipping's good. But we just got a warning light on the car that the brakes are failing or something's failing in the brake system. So I'm, I'm mildly stressed out about that because it's a very busy day. We are going to get it figured out and I'm, I'm going to make the best of it, but man, it's, it's, sometimes, sometimes, man, so it's those little things, right? The little tiny things every now and then something just comes into your life and you're like, today, did it have to be like this today? It did. And that's okay. My hat looks wet because I've been sweating. I washed it, put it on my head. Hey, shout out to my buddy, Matt over at O'Malley's Morphs. I'll put a link down in the description for his channel, Matt is one of my favorite people here in the reptile YouTube community. He, we go back and forth with music and I, he's just a solid guy. I really like him. And uh, yeah, there'll be a link down there for him. All right, I don't think that I'm gonna be able to show these things with this snake in my hand. And also, did I, did I clear up what brought you to click on this video in the first place? Why I use Brian in my thumbnails for clickbait? Did I satisfy the question? I hope so. I'm not gonna do it a bunch, but I did it today. <laughs> I'm gonna put this snake away. Let me know in the comments if I did answer the question. And yeah, thanks. Put that snake away fast, didn't I? You can be impressed, it's cool. First things I wanna show, we started a whiskey channel recently, me and my buddy Matt, I'll put a link down in the description if you haven't checked it out. And we had some people sending us some, some bottles already. I'm very thankful. For that, thank you very much, guys. This was from my buddy Josh Himovich. And take a look at this bottle, guys. Like, super freaking cool. Got the snake going around the bottle like that. The bottom is like a, a shell. Super cool. Haven't opened it and tasted it yet, but I'm, regardless of however this tastes, I'm just blown away by the awesome bottle. It's a rattlesnake on there. Super cool bottle. Way to tie in the, the whiskey world with the the reptile world. And then our buddy Adam Webb over at Goolsby Serpent sent this. Obviously, I've, I've tried this one a little bit. <laughs> that double oaked uh, Woodford Reserve. It's got this, it's nice. We'll, we'll probably review these on the, on the Whiskey Channel at some point, especially this one, just because the bottle is so freaking cool. Um, all right, a couple other things to open. Let's, let's get these things going. Try and fly through them as fast as possible. I know it's uncut. I'm not going to be cutting, except for cutting up in these envelopes. Okay, well, I'm going to do a cut, cut these. I should have pre-cut these. If I was thinking, if I was using all my brain, if my brain wasn't so preoccupied with everything else that's going on right now, I probably would have pre-cut these. But let's go as fast as we can. Just get them open. And then I'll share this stuff with you. A couple other packages over there. I'm willing to bet most of these are stickers, but let's have a look. This one is from... Woo, that sticker just came flying out there. You see that? This one is from Skeleton Reptiles, Joachim Forsberg over in, uh, where is this? Oh, in Norway. Some Norway action, look at that. Thank you. I love receiving stuff from other countries. It's, it just reminds me of the awesome international outreach of YouTube. Fantastic sticker, that thing's huge. Nice work, thank you. Got another thing here. Uh oh, it shows how long it's been since I opened it. This is a Christmas card. From, from, uh, Stephen Shepard, right here in El Segundo. Look at that nice drawing of the ball python on the top there. That's ball python, right? That's Burmese python. Very cool. Thank you. Christmas. I'm, I'm a little late on. Oh no. Oh no, it's more Christmas cards. Oh, thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris, for the Christmas card. That... Oh man, I've I really been slacking on this, haven't I? Just a note, thank you, Brian. Hope all's well, I want to say thank you again. The great time, Reptarium. Oh yeah, Music City Balls. Got to hang out with those guys. Speaking of Brian and the Reptarium, got to hang out over there with those guys, have dinner. We had possibly a little bit too much fun, which was definitely a good time. And one more from 
Coastside Geckos. Everybody getting these shiny stickers, man. I jump on this shiny sticker game. My stickers are just lackluster compared to these shiny ones. Look at that. Coastside Geckos. Thank you for that. All right, let's open up this stuff. This one's from Nerd. Thank you, Donnie. I know Donnie said he was going to throw together some kind of thing for us. Oh, we got stickers. We got we got a shot. Oh, the classic, the classic thumbnail shot. That's a nice touch. We got patches, stickers, nerd. We got Reptile Talk sticker from the homies. If you guys missed any of the nerd trip, I, I feel like most people saw the nerd trip, but I'll link it right here in case you guys missed our little nerd action. That was ooh, that knife is still sharp. I haven't sharpened that thing in a couple months either. Still kicking off nice and hot. Oh, look at this. We got. Thanks. This is a look at this nice package. Thanks, Donnie. Throwing together. Oh, look at you got. You got the girl on there. You got. Oh man. Look at that. Yeah, we got shirts for the kids. Man. Thanks a lot. Ooh, this one's super soft. I think that one's for me. Another one for one of the boys. Yeah. Hey guys. Fantastic. All right, let's get into one more thing here. Oh no, two more things. Yeah, you guys okay with the the live on the live on cut unboxing? I'm sure most of you that clicked here for the clickbait are already gone by now, so I'll just let you guys enjoy this. Those of you that like to stick around and see everything happen. Oh, oh my gosh! Pretzels. Phil over it. PD's reptile. Oh, look at this. A triple B mask. We have to go to uh, any shows. In the future? Damn, I'm definitely gonna rock this thing if I you have to go to a big show and I work on masks inside the show, which I imagine they will be next one we go to. Look at that. Thanks, Philip. Man, that's a, what a great ooh, look at that shirt. Ooh, Petey's reptiles. That thing pop. Look at the pop on this thing, guys. That thing is popping like crazy. Pop pop. Petey's reptiles. I'll put a link down in the description. And there was something. Else that I... yeah! Hopefully this isn't super perishable because <laughs> it's been sitting in there for a hot minute. It's been nice and cool though. Ooh, Helga Gourmet Mustard. Ooh, to mix it with the pretzel stuff. Thanks. Thanks. I'm going to try that out in just a minute. All right. One more thing, guys. One more thing and we're out of here. Pretty sure I know what this is. Boom. Not Appropriate Podcast. My brother-in-law started up a podcast, Not Appropriate Podcast. I'll put a link in the description for that as well. I'm going to be going up there with him and hanging out with the fam up in the snow, up in the cabin. Ooh, still a little bit tight. And I'm going to go do an episode of his podcast with him. So you guys can expect that coming forward real soon. we get to meet him. He's a freaking super awesome guy. Couldn't ask for a better brother-in-law. There you have it. Thank you for watching. Aloha. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And we'll see you uh, on the next video. Bye.